gave us terrible driving instructions. Only because we've driven by here did we kind of know where to go. Now we're at this big gate and we're going to climb through. So you are here. But we're See, it's off of El Camino Real is where we were supposed to be. And the lady in the book said it was something completely different. Yeah. So that direction was completely wrong and off and it took us we couldn't find out the entrance right there, but that's the real entrance. We're actually right up here off of Manchester, and we're gonna come across here, pick up the trail, and I guess it follows along here. We'll go off to the left towards I-5, and then we'll double back, go to the beginning, and then come back. Actually, also right here off of Loma Santa Fe, get North Rios Avenue, we're going up, and it looks like the start of the trail is also right there, too. Much better to be out down here walking around in a little nature here than being up in that freeway. I don't know if you can see. It's uh, not quite bumper to bumper, but everyone's going home on Labor Day weekend. And uh, looks like it's about 15, 20 mile an hour uh, speed limit. Tick warning. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, I know it's not much, but still a little bit of a wildlife setting. Oh well, there he goes. All right, this is the other entrance, or the proper entrance, I guess. Well, I think this is definitely off one of the side streets. I don't think this is El Camino Real. All right, well, I guess we'll head back. Uh, been at it, I think, 25, 30, 35 minutes. I didn't really get start time, but all right, look look for the white picket fence. Starting from uh, this end, you can see it's uh, the topography is a little bit different. It's certainly a lot more overgrown. It's in the shade, which is very nice out there. It was getting kind of warm and toasty, but uh, much different experience. I think there are quite a few birds up in the canopy. You can hear them hooting here and there. Well, I know he's a bit of a dog, but here you go. I think it's, what did we say, red tail hawk? Yes. So he's checking out the brush, seeing if there's anything, uh, dinner or lunchtime here. But again, just a real beautiful sight watching these birds in flight. Okay, we came across on the other side where the uh, trail leads underneath the uh, I-5 freeway. And here we are in the Marsh Lagoon area. And we're probably at the turnaround point here for, uh, for this part. And then we'll head back to the car. A couple of birds hanging out. 
shore, shore birds out there. I don't think we can probably see them from what the camera can do. As you can hear, we're going underneath the freeway. So this is the area underneath. Don't ask me why I'm showing this to you. Now, the technical section over here. Okay, back across. We'll make our way back to the uh, car from here. It's probably about a mile. 